Yeah. She'll kill ya. Welcome back to Rated J Games, guys. Jay here as always, and today something has finally happened that a lot of us Nintendo fans have been awaiting. And that is, Nintendo went ahead and had a very short 7 to 8 minute direct today on the new Pokemon 2019 games. And we actually finally have a trailer, which I can't show you here because Nintendo has been taking it down like crazy. But we do have a name, we have seen the starters, the world map, and a lot of other stuff that's really cool. But, I'm going to start off with the titles of the games. It's going to be two, just like Nintendo and the Pokemon Company has always done with their mainline Pokemon games. And we're getting Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. Now, I find that kind of interesting because, well, I mean, we stopped doing the whole color thing, I guess, with Sun and Moon. But... I mean, Sword and Shield's cool. I like the symbols and everything, which I'll be putting up around as I talk and uh, all that. But Sword and Shield is coming in late 2019, so probably around the holiday season. We'll see about that. And we'll probably see even more of the game at E3 because you know they're going to bring it. But uh, we actually got to see the three new starters. Again, I'll be putting them up as I talk about them here. And I'm just going to read off a little bit of what's on the website, what we know about it and whatnot. But uh, the Grass Starter is basically a chimp. And his name is Grookey. He's a grass type. And it says he is a mischievous chimp Pokemon that is full of boundless curiosity. And, I mean... As designs go for the starters, he's, in my opinion, okay. Um, none of the starters have really, like, shot out for me since uh, Silver and Gold. So, I mean, but, alright, they're still trying, so. But, we have the fire type, which is Score Bunny. It's a fire rabbit this time. And it says a rabbit Pokemon that is always running about, bursting with energy. And then we have the water type, Sob Sobble, I believe it's uh, pronounced. A somewhat timid water lizard Pokemon that shoots out attacks as it hides itself in the water. I think this is really cool because... I mean, I... Honestly, Scorbunny and Sobble, I think, are the two better looking of the new starters but whatever we're all gonna have our favorites this is just my opinion but we got to finally see the three starters and uh it's it's awesome it is really awesome that they went ahead and showed us all this today i was wondering when we were gonna see something about it but i didn't think it was gonna be until e3 but we got a good glimpse of what they're going to be uh, doing with this new Pokemon game and let me tell you it looks bigger than any Pokemon game that's come before it and well let's move on to the new region they actually showed it up and I'm gonna put a map up or whatever to show you what it looks like and we'll be exploring the Galar region I believe that's how it's pronounced G-A-L-A-R Galar, right? And under here it says Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield will be set in a Galar, an expansive region with many environments. Idyllic countrysides, contemporary cities, thick forest, and craggy snow covered mountains. The people in Pokemon live together in this region and they've worked together to develop the industries here. You'll visit the various gyms in the Galar region, aiming for the inevitable and admirable title of champion. Now, from what they showed in the trailer of, you know, the characters running around, you'll be picking from a boy and a girl again. Um, from what I feel, it's more of a London-based 
region mixed with some steampunk. Um, if you look at if you look at it uh, where it says uh, industries and whatnot, it's it. There's a lot of that feel, especially when they were running around the bigger city that they showed off. So, uh, yeah, I think that's going to be the main theme of this Pokemon, like industry and uh, stuff like that. So. But, all in all, it looks like a pretty big region. So, it's, uh, that's, that's pretty much all the, uh, info that we have on it. It looks, um, from gameplay rise, uh, in the trailer it showed you in the tall grass. So, Pokemon are gonna attack you from there. That's how you're gonna be catching, whoa, excuse me. That's how you're gonna be catching them again. So, very traditional Pokemon. Uh, which uh, honestly makes me very happy because I love the older Pokemon games. I mean, I'm playing through um, what is it, uh, Ruby now on my uh, channel, and this is actually the first time I'm going to be playing Ruby, so that's fun. But uh, yeah, this seems like more traditional Pokemon, but just bigger, just a lot bigger, and that makes a lot of sense since it's on the Switch. No longer is it. Like, uh, a handheld only Pokemon game. We've got it for their home console, which doubles for a handheld. I mean, a lot of people have their own opinion on the Switch. Is it a handheld? Is it a home console? It's both. So, but we're getting a really big Pokemon. What I hope, what I hope happens after we go ahead and become the champion of the Galar region. I hope we get to move on to an, one of the older regions, which would be really cool. Even if it's just Kento or Hoenn or whatever, I think it would be really cool to have another region or two to go around to the gyms and battle them out and whatnot. Or maybe even work it all into the story that you have to go over or something, I don't know. I doubt we're going to get something like that, but I would like to see, I would like to see it and be able to go catch the Pokemon over there that are uh, in that region. I think it would be really cool. And I think it's something that a lot of Pokemon fans have been hoping for. Now, honestly, I'm hoping maybe after this one, Pokemon, I don't know, 2022 or 2021 or whatever, uh, the next Pokemon game, obviously, we get a Pokemon game so big that it has most of the regions in it, and it's all just one big story. I think that would be awesome. But again, very wishful thinking and very doubtful that we'll get something that big with Pokemon. Also, also in the direct today, they also said that this isn't the only thing that they're working on Pokemon-wise. The Pokemon Company are working on other stuff as well. So we're going to be finding that out as we go along in 2019. But, uh, yeah. Are you guys excited for this? Because I know I am. And this would be a very big purchase for me this year. Especially since I it's something I've been waiting for for a long time. And damn right, once I can, it will be coming to the channel. Um, I, I have to. I have to. But, uh, yeah. Um, that's Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield coming out later this year. I'll set a, um, I'll set a link down to the trailer, or even the direct. Like I said, it's a short direct, 7 to 8 minutes. That way you could experience it yourself if you haven't already. So, uh, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, a little informative video on the Nintendo Direct, and, uh, if you did, hit that like button, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so now. But again, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one.